Many biological molecules recognize other specific biomolecules and bind to them with high affinity as part of their normal function. For example, hormones are recognized by specific receptor proteins. Antibodies recognize their respective antigens. Enzymes recognize their respective substrates. This ability to recognize a partner molecule is harnessed in affinity chromatography. For instance, If we conjugate, that is attach, an enzyme onto the surface of Sephiro's beads, we generate a stationary phase that can isolate the substrate of that enzyme from a complex mixture. One pair of biomolecules that binds to each other with high specificity are the enzyme glutathione S transferase, GST, and its substrate, glutathione. This pair is involved in, with the removal of toxins from the body. Glutathione is a tripeptide with sulfhydryl group shown here in red. The importance of the sulfohydryl group is reflected in the abbreviation we use for glutathione, which is GSH. Glutathione S transferases are enzymes that seek out toxic, unfamiliar molecules in cells, such as drugs or pollutants. When they find a toxic molecule that is too hydrophobic to be excreted, they recruit glutathione. They attach the glutathione to the toxin via the sulfur group. Glutathione is water soluble. So the toxin can now be excreted from the cell and from the body. If glutathione molecules are conjugated onto sephiros beads in a column, we can isolate glutathione S transferase from a complex mixture by affinity chromatography. This is more useful than you might expect. Suppose we want to produce large quantities of a protein of interest. Let's call it protein X. We could insert the gene encoding protein X into bacteria. The bacteria will now produce large quantities of protein X. We can now lyse that is, rupture the bacteria. But how do we isolate protein X from this complex mixture of proteins, DNA and membranes? To overcome this difficulty, we add the gene for GST to the gene encoding protein X. Now, when the bacteria produce protein X, the protein is fused to the GST protein. This technique is called protein tagging. The GST is acting as a tag to allow easy isolation of the protein of interest. When we lyse the bacteria now, <coughs> protein X can be isolated by affinity chromatography on a glutathione sephiros column. How do we get the protein X GST complex off the column? Remember, it is the GST that is actually bound to the column via glutathione. We wash the column with a solution of high concentration glutathione. How does that work? The high concentration of glutathione displaces the column bound glutathione at the GST binding sites. So to summarize, GST tagged proteins can be easily isolated using a glutathione GSH column. The GST tagged protein is trapped on the column 
because GST binds to GSH. The GST protein complex can be removed from the column by washing the column with a high concentration of GSH. Subsequently, GST can be cleaved from the protein of interest.